Welcome to the Shiki Shinobi missions. Mission I chose to accept was to go to the movies. Now, for the record, I'll entity the other balloon. As a quick movie review, yeah, it was good, I enjoyed it, but um, they could have restrained on the pronouns just a little because it got very confusing on who was talking about who. Anyway, on to the movies. And gen these are things that generally piss everyone off, but there, there was just that little bit that uh, irked me. Okay, at my movie theatre at least, we have the mobile ca the mobile candy store. Now, before the movie started, a guy, a good guy, a gay guy, came about halfway down the aisle, said loudly and clearly that he was from the mobile candy store that he'll be up the back with his trolley, that he'll be selling drinks, ice creams, and a few other knickknacks, in case we needed anything so we didn't have to go all the way downstairs. So, that was quite nice. Um, and he, w he went back to his candy car, and the people that were a few seats down from me, they went, oh my god, he's gay. It's like, yeah, so? What does that have to do with anything? It's, the mobile candy store, it's not tag the fag. And my problem, the problem with that was, it, that was just completely off topic. He's trying to do you a favour. He's saving you a trip if you need a drink of water or something like that. You can go to him at the back of the cinema instead of going out the cinema, out into the main hall, downstairs, around a few corners to the candy bar. Okay, he's fucking saving you a trip. Be grateful. Know this, oh my god, crap. Anyway. One thing that some people find annoying during the movies, but I find good, are the previews for other movies coming out. Because, hey, it's a bonus. Okay? But I cannot, cannot stand when people talk during the previews. Okay, if you want if you want to talk to whoever you happen to be at the movies with, I don't care. You've got a lot of time to do that. You've got the time that you meet up, the time before it darkens and the move and the previews are about to start. You've got all that time. But when things are rolling and the movie's playing or whatever, shut the fuck up. I don't care what you have to say. You can say between the previews, oh that looks like fun to go to, don't you think? But during the actual preview, when the preview's actually running, shut up. Because, like me, I'm sure there are other people who enjoy the previews, and it would be nice to actually have some silence. Okay, I don't need to be listening to the previews of your conversation or your conversation over the previews. Okay? Yes, sometimes the previews aren't good, and I admit that a lot of the movies these days are either chick flicks or some strange comedy, but there might be something good on that someone else would appreciate and I think they'd appreciate it more if you shut up. Yeah. Next up, let's talk about the actual cinema themselves and actually going to the movies. Ticket. For me, about 12 bucks. That's, not, that's actually not too bad considering that the actual class and style of the cinema. And I'm not talking about the gold pass, that's completely different. But, yeah, I pick up, I got my ticket and I went to get food. And that was seriously a mistake, that cost quite a lot. I'd like a popcorn. That'll, be, that'll cost this arm. I want a drink. This leg. And the ice cream, um, I have to swear the head of my firstborn child. Okay? That's how much food costs these days at the cinemas. And I really don't understand. I mean, there is a market out there for these things. You don't need to overcharge people. You already fucking know, fucking get a lot of money out of the tickets. You don't need to charge me five bucks for a bottle of water where I could pay two dollars twenty for it elsewhere. I mean, duh. You, it's... Yeah, you get sucker because it's obviously a scam. And what's with the charging of the price of popcorn? What, did you sprinkle fairy dust over it or something? Is it supposed to give you some dizzying highs to make the movie look really 3D like, whoa, dude? 
<laughs> she got me too. <laughs> or something. I don't know. But what is with the overcharging? Okay, it's not like you you actually are buying cocaine to put into the popcorn or something. Okay, I'm sh I'm sure even LSD doesn't cost that much. Um. So yeah, if you work at the movies, try talking to someone to cut down the price. Oh my God. Um. But yeah, it's just uh, it's just out of the question. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to pay 10 bucks for a medium bucket of popcorn. I'm not saying that's the actual price, but phew, might as well be. Any other problem I had when I went to the movies was finding my seat. Now, there are a million seats in the cinema, but at the cinema I go to, at least, you're dedicated an aisle and a seat number. Some cinemas, nobody cares, you just sit with whatever the fuck you want. Um, that's okay too. But if you're going to allocate me an aisle and a seat number, you have to make these things findable. The aisle number, the aisle letter, as it usually is. That's not too bad. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, because it's big and it's underneath the light at, on the side of the aisle so you know where you're walking during the movie. Okay. Now, that I didn't have a problem with. I think my seat was M19 or L19 or something like that. But it was in the middle. Um, so I found my aisle and started going down the seat, and I was looking at the seat, it was pretty dark at this point, and I couldn't find my seat number. So I looked here and here and here and here and here, and I was tempting to get on the ground and look under the seat because it might be there, when I noticed that it's actually on the armrest for your seat, and the number is on, if you're facing the chair, it's on the left armrest or on the right if you're sitting in it. And that took me five minutes to find. And there are other people in the store. I felt like a jerk. So after five minutes of searching, I felt the number. I thought, oh, there it is. The number wasn't engraved. Okay, it did a little bubble. So you know what I'm talking about. And I thought, hang on, am I in the right seat? Because it would be polite to be in the right seat in case someone else wants is supposed to be sitting in the seat. So, I had to spend another minute trying to dig my mobile out of my pocket to shine the light on the number to make sure it was the right fucking seat. It was. I, was, I found it, whatever, 19. Or 19, whatever. But, the chase was enough. Now, going to the movies should be a fun experience. I shouldn't have to go through all this crap and put up with people talking and I swear if I find someone at the movies one day who has their phone on and starts ringing they're not going to get it back why? because it will be shoved and glued up their butt ok and I'll make sure it sticks I'll buy glue and take it or maybe I'll glue it to their head so that way they can't actually answer the thing ok so if I find anyone who lets their mother ring during the film Fucking be warned you will die. Okay? Or at least your mobile will. I'll turn it off for you and you'll never turn it back on again. And considering the thing you can store on your phone these days, yeah, you'll lose a lot. So, that's my little rant on going to the movies. Now, I'd like to know where you want me to go. I said this in my other video. But I'm running a little short on location that I didn't have quite as many as I thought. So, let's hear it. Where do you want the Shiki Shinobi to go? Where's my next mission? Tell me about it. Okay? Name where you want me to go. Probably tell me what irritates you about it and see if I run into the same problem. Or ma maybe even a public service. A public service that pisses you off. That you are stuck in like a train or a cab. I've already done buses. Um, maybe just drivers in general. Okay, but we'll see how we go. Okay, guys? All the best. Bye-bye.